Wow, welcome in. It's been a while. Thank you so much for being here. We're here for a thrift haul. I hope you're game for it. It's uh, a little a little rusty for me, I believe, because I couldn't even remember how to go live. It took me a while to figure out the buttons, but welcome in. I'm so glad you're here. If you love thrifting as much as I do, I think you've arrived at the right channel. If you love jewelry as much as I do, you've definitely arrived at the right channel because I love both of those, and that's constantly what is a part of my life and what I'm usually looking for is uh, items to resell, items to love and cherish, and of course, uh, items to keep here at the house. And, and like I said, love and cherish. You might even see some still in the back. Part of my decor, I'm trying to do videos about thrifted homes as well. My thrifted home, my decor, my eclectic style. So please stay tuned for those. I have already done a few and I'm doing a lot of shorts with those as well. Thank you again for being here. Let's see if we can get started and maybe say hello to a couple of people in the chat if we have anybody here today. Thank you again for being here. I hope I enabled the chat. Hey, how are you, Tanya? I'm glad you're here. All right, we're going to get started and let's see. I guess I'll show a couple of things that are right in front of me. These glasses, as usual, are so filthy. And, um, oh my gosh, so much stuff. That's why I wanted to go ahead and start doing it because this has accumulated for months and it's been taking a lot of space in my office. It's been really delegating how I de decorate, how I donate. I donated a whole bunch of things today to the Goodwill. I bring in, I'm trying to really live by the old adage, take in, you know, one, take out two. So that's what I've been doing, especially with clothing, because I love the fact that I can buy these incredible clothes. Oh, this one did I thrift? Yes, this is a Lafayette. Very, very high dollar uh, Neiman's variety of, of brands. They're made well. I can find them at the thrift store for anywhere from 5 to $10. So I just constantly like to change that way. And I love the fact this is a sustainable hobby. It's something that we do that is not hurting anyone, including the planet, that uh, fast fashion can do. And fast fashion is made to dispose. It really is. So that's one of the reasons I love thrifting clothing, especially. Plus, I can afford to get the brands that I cannot afford to buy every week over in the high dollar department stores or even a regular department store. So let me see who else is here. I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? It's been a while, like I said, that I've gone live. And especially in this room, I used to thrift over in the other room, do the thrift halls in the other room. But that room is now my office and that room is packed with stuff right now. It also looks like Irene is here and um, Yvonne, Miriam. Thank you, everyone who's here. I appreciate it. All right, let's get started before we lose all of the people that have very short attention spans. We do love Hello Pony. It's a Hello Pony. I always call it Hello Pony. It's Little Pony, Little Pony, and not only little kids love Little Pony. This is a high dollar resale type of item. People love these cute creatures. Adults love these cute creatures. Men love these cute creatures. <laughs> cute creatures. So pick up Hello Pony. There I go again. Little Pony and Hello Kitty as well. <laughs> Whenever you can. This is one of those little wallets that came... Uh, what in the, in the was it the 90s or the 2000s that they use these little vinyl looking wallets but it's not about the style of the wallet look it's even rainbow inside rainbow stitching how can you beat that right hi becky it's you know this is what it's about not the style so much we are going for an ebay listing here and uh yeah we're going to ask at least 20 for it probably up on auction see if we can go higher that's what we're doing with that more rainbows this one my daughter actually wanted, but I it, bought it for my granddaughter. This one cost me all of $6. It's brand new. It is the cutest little bag. Is it not? Is it not the cutest little carry-on weekender or, you know, you're just a little like a train, train case or something. Very minimal things will fit in there. It is brand new. Brand new with a strap. And we even got some hair accessories to boot. From Sweet Shimmer. I don't know who that is. I may wind up keeping this. I do love bobby pins and hair accessories. <laughs> this was even in there. Can you believe it? I love it. I think it's fantastic. Six dollars. Did we say everything was looking okay as far as the screen? I hope it is. All right. I had to show you this because I got two of these. 
<laughs> and they've been in the back room again for months. Oh, look, I just noticed you can actually hang this up. That's pretty cool. This is a wreath box, and I, I saw them at the Goodwill. I think they had them for $10.99, and they had just taken them out of the, uh, you know, the Goodwill's constantly bringing out bins. They roll them out, and people sometimes pick through them. Sometimes we get scolded for picking through them. Sometimes we, we're told, oh, please do. I don't have to put everything away when you do that, so that's always good. Well, welcome, Cindy. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Kathy, Kathy Kitty, I'm sorry. Kathy Kitty, thank you for being here. So I picked it out and I said, oh, that's too much. I'll put it back. And I was just talking to myself, actually. Could have been recording. Anyway, and then the man turns to me that was unpacking. He said, is that too much for you? Are you willing to take it home for five? And I was like, okay. So I guess he was the manager. He changed it to five. And I got two of them. And one of them was already holding my, my wreath. This one can also be used for your other, you know, Christmas decor or anything for that matter. So that was a good buy. And then I found this. I thought this was just the cutest thing. This is $3. It is a Western theme. It's uh, cheese spreaders. I have a whole lot of these, but most of them are Christmas themed. So we are definitely cheese fiends here. And we needed more of these. And I thought these were cute. Brand new. Hey, don't forget to give that video, this video a thumbs up as you're watching it. If you enjoy it, go down to the screen right here where I am. There are some thumbs there of choice nice people always pick the thumbs up and uh give it a thumbs up would you thank you so much all right this is something i have never really heard of but i know that weighted items are really popular in um well for a lot of people but especially special needs children and i am a special education teacher so i have been familiar with weighted items this is brand new in a box here and what was it seven to three dollars three dollars and it's like a, ma it is a mask. It's a weighted mask, sleep mask. So it helps you sleep. I guess it also could help with maybe headaches. Let me know if anybody has ever heard of this. I guess you tie it in a bow there in the front. And um, it's supposed to help with sleep. It's called Nod Pod, the weighted blanket for your eyes. Makes sense. Now I used to... That's one of the reasons I really love um, down pillows because they collapse really nicely. And I used to cover my head, I remember. I don't do it so much anymore, but I remember I used to cover my face. That was kind of the way I slept for many years. For some reason, I don't do it that much now, but I think it's a great concept. And I think that's a great deal. If I don't sell it, I'm giving that to my, sis to my sister. She has trouble sleeping. She might benefit from that. Let me see who else is in the chat. Uh, this is a, I love trays. I think I showed you some from the other day. I cannot resist a tray. Copper, especially brass second. And I have a lot of things around the house that I haven't showed you, but I'm showing you in the other videos. I've told you that is what I'm trying to do. This was only $3 and it has the symbol. Um, I'm trying to think. I think this is an Arabic symbol. Let me know what you know about it. I'm not sure. It might be. I was thinking Chinese, but no, it's not. I believe it's Arabic. So I love that one, too. Hi, hey Barb. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're doing well. Barb Underhill. I've been thinking about you. I was thinking about you yesterday. I hope you're doing all right. Thanks for joining me. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. I was hoping it was a, um, a set of, what do you call it, bookends. But there was only one. But it is Onyx. And it says clearly here, Onyx made in Pakistan. And it's a pyramid. I mean, what more could you want? And this was $3, I believe. Wait. No, $5.99. It is so heavy and beautiful. Look at the amazing banding on that. So I was like, okay, I can sit here and look at all the beautiful colors that Onyx comes in. Isn't that amazing? Plus, it just looks fantastic. You, did you let me know if the sound is good? Is it breaking away or anything? Again, I do have problems sometimes with the internet, especially in this room. So let me know, please. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, it's all around me. Oh, this. I found a Hager. This is an amazing piece. I showed this in my short. 
Um, I've looked it up. It does have a, a pretty good value to it. I'm probably going to keep it because it's the only one I've ever seen. I've had a couple of planners that were small. And here's the signature. It's not the, is it Royal Hager? It just says Hager. And I see people selling them anywhere from, you know, this is why I, I get, tell you to give eBay, uh, give it its, its the respect that it deserves. Definitely, it does dictate a lot of the market, but it's not everything. Because I could put it up, you know, I could inherit my grandmother's estate and not care at, uh, at all about old things, antiques, vintage collectibles. And just say, oh, throw it up on eBay for $10. And, of course, if you put it on auction, someone's going to buy it for $10. So I've seen the comps everywhere from $30 to $150. And they've all sold. So that's what you have to know about eBay. You have to continue to check the market, not only for what has been listed, especially what has sold is what you want to do. And uh, bear in mind, also, the seller. Always go and look at the seller. Does that seller... Is that her business? Is that their business? Is that what they've all been selling all this time? Or do you see shoes and then you see car parts and then you have you see mostly buys? Then that person is just kind of a casual reseller. So again, do your research before you start using eBay with uh, giving eBay the credence that a lot of people do. People, especially at auctions, will say, "Oh, it's listed for five hundred dollars on eBay. Who cares?" This is why I don't I don't use live comps in my auction. Who cares if it's listed on eBay for $500? Check and see how much that trend has gone. Did it really sell for that? So forth. All right, there's my band soapbox there. Let me get off of that and show you some handbags. You may have seen the short. This one went quick. I love it. Sold it yesterday at my auction. It's a classic Dooney. I'll get on my soapbox about Dooney again. This bag is from the 80s. 40 years old or more. That's when this wonderful design this wonderful brand was at its heyday. This bag, I believe, probably retailed around $500, brand new. So when I saw it, I nearly fell out. I nearly fainted. I was so happy to see it, especially in the condition. Condition, condition, condition is everything in jewelry, handbags, and anything you resell. It has to be in good condition. Reinforced back, um, strap. Could not believe that. Inside, it's amazing. This is an, a really good neutral color, too. That's another thing we'll, that will dictate your price. Is this a desirable color? This is the black and the chocolate. It is indeed. It's very rare to find black ones in the first place. The creams are also pretty rare. And more than anything, people want to know what those corners look like. They want to know what the lining looks like. And that's what makes you ask for more money. Of course, at my auctions, I like to offer one-of-a-kind deals. And the person that bought this got a one-of-a-kind deal, and so did I. So that was great. Then I got this Italian bag. Love this one, too. This one, I don't even know if it, I don't even think it has a name. It's just amazing. It's like a sack. And this one was, I think, 16. Love the short strap. Basically, it's just a rectangle here of leather, Italian leather. I don't even know what the brand is. I don't, I can't see with these bright lights in my eyes. Okay, there it is. It just says made in Italy. <laughs> That's literally what it says. And it's an olive green, like a, yeah, like a muted olive green. Love that. And a perfect classic style as well. Oh, and I was saying about the Dooney. Yes, Dooney has brought back the all-weather leather, but take a look at it. If you're lucky enough to own a, still own an old one, take a look at the ones they sell now and what they call the pebble leather, the all-weather pebble leather. It's not the same. The gauge is about half. The leather is super thin. You can actually collapse it. It's so thin and it's made in China now. Those were made in the USA. So it's the quality is at best 75% what it used to be. So when you can find the vintage things, you have got yourself some really good buys. Same thing with these coaches. I call these industrial. That's the, I've always called these industrial coaches. The thickness of the leather is incredible. I may keep this one. I do love this one. I, I did offer it yesterday, it didn't sell. And I hate when that happens because then I really want to keep it. Now, this one has a seam in the back, so it's not a pocket back there. Adjustable strap, still has the tag. Of course, the creed is inside. This one is a double, a double compartment in here. Truly prep prepulicious here. Unbelievable style. This, your grandmother used it. 
your mother used it, you'll use it, your granddaughter will use it for lifetimes, classic style, classic quality. That's what keeps us going to eBay to find these. And again, this is a beautiful color too. Green, classic. I love that color. There was this kind of a trend a few years ago where everyone had a green bag. It was called a pop of color. But with this color green, I think it's so dark that it's actually a neutral. So I love that. Hope I don't forget anything that's in front of me because I often do. Oh, I finally found me some um, glasses, wine glasses that kind of um, for white wine because I usually drink red, but sometimes we drink white when we have guests. These were all six for seven dollars, set of six for seven dollars. And they're like a little rosé color. So rosé would look pretty in that. I, of course, I did get the entire set. I do love that. Then I found this mirrored tray. This one was $6.99, and I won't blind you with it. But look at the um, key on there, the Greek key. Now, I love these for, of course, perfumes. I set them out on my coffee table right now. I have one that's in red. Chinese red. I have all my remotes on it. I have some chocolates. And what else do I have on there? And a pencil, because I'm always writing things down that I may see on a video or something, a pencil and pad. So these are indispensable things. This is in really good condition. Don't believe it's vintage. Uh, just a beautiful mirror tree here. I was just telling you how much I love um, pillows, the um, down. This one can be taken out and washed. So I really want to make some custom pillows for my sofa and um, replace these. Maybe just put these in, instead. Well, it's got leaves and everything on it for being in my trunk. But I think I found these for $4. This is interesting too. And to tell you how much prices can vary. I found these at Goodwill and they were like $3. And then I went to another thrift store, and all of their decor, their pillows were beautiful, too. They were all $10, $11, $12, $12. yet there are other things like that coach bag, and, they, and uh, the other handbags were reasonably priced. It's really crazy. All right, I found another oops, fabulous bag. This one is a Wilson's Leather, $10, excellent condition, very lightweight. This is definitely 80s, look at the tiny pocket. But classic again, you just need a strap. If you happen to have one, you're in luck because it's just, it's really pretty, almost jacket, jacket, biker jacket texture on this leather. Really nice, I love this one. Oh, let me see who else is here. My sister's keeper. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for being here. Laurel Birch is another really good seller. I found this one at the bins. I have a bin video coming out for you. It's a great video. I did do my, what I'm doing now, my little series of man in the street interviews, sort of, sort of. So I'm going and asking people what's in their cart and some of them are very nice and letting me know. So that's coming up. Stay tuned for that video. This is her fish design, still tagged, still new. And she usually does cat. So when you can find the other design, that's a rarity too. So keep that brand in mind too. If you're a reseller, let me show you that. Laurel Birch. I hope you can see. Well, let me show you this one. The leather looks really soft. Yes, it is. Very soft. I found another Laurel Birch. The horses you saw me show this one in a short i believe they want it twenty dollars but i asked the manager if he could go better on that one and he let me have it for eight dollars so that was a good deal i love it very very nice brand new as well with the tag still has the tag right here and these are very easily $80 to $100 at retail. You'll find a lot of these at airports. They always sell these at airports. Isn't that pretty? Laurel Birch. And that's a great brand to keep in mind for handbags. 
And let me see what else. Oh, I showed you this one in a short too. Now this is Eric Javits. This is a sleeper brand too. Eric Javits is amazing. I just saw it from a distance and it was quality. And then I know that I'm always hunting for this name. I have not been lucky enough to find the hat. I have hats rather because that's his claim to fame is the straw hats, straw bags, and uh, what else? Straw handbags, hats, sandals, or shoes. So um, these go for very, very good money. This is brand new. This has not been used. It has a detachable strap as well. Or maybe you can wear it as a belt bag. A lot of people are doing belt bags, so it is adjustable. But if you'll Google Ariana Grande in an Eric Javits hat on the cover of Vogue, and then look up the comp on the Vogue. You know how Vogue gives you Vogue gives you the price list. That's a five hundred dollar hat she's wearing. So that the the items get really good money on them. You guys are awfully quiet today. Tell me what have you thrifted lately? I'm looking around so I don't forget anything I wanted to show you because there's always more. Oh, here's some more brass. Cute little basket. Christine, how are you? Addicted. Lexi. Let me see if my... Yeah, I don't see the, the chat scrolling. Say hello. Tell me where you're from. Tell me where you live. Oh, I found these. These are already put away in my lanterns. Two um, little plastic candles that run on batteries. They look really cute. They were working when I put them in. So those were nice. I found this shoehorn. It's silver. I, I haven't tested it for silver, so I'm assuming it's silver plate. I did find some silver candlesticks that's over there. I'm going to show those in my other video. But isn't that darling? I love that. It's actually monogrammed. It's monogrammed with three initials, two initials. Looks like it says LN. So that was a good one, too. Toronto, Canada. Oh, I bet it's nice and cool over there. <laughs> It's it's warm in this house. I don't like the the heater too much. Now this one I actually got, even though this is definitely something to look out for, and I have sold wonderful items with the um, needlework needlepoint. But this one says something about first we had each other. It's kind of like a wedding thing. I bought it because I like the frame. I'm going to use the frame, and I'm going to take this out and list it. I don't think it'll do very well. But what does well in needlework is your 60s mid-century uh, motifs, mushrooms, owls. I found some wonderful things in a thrift excursion last year at an estate sale, and I think I bought them for about a whole bunch for $4, and I wound up selling one for $75, $80 on eBay. So that's the theme you want to look for. Also, the kits sell really well, the needlework kits, especially if they are obsolete, no longer no longer sold, but the theme you want to look for in needlework, your sampler, of course, the older, the better, and then the, the mid-century stuff. So pick that up because that does have a good resale value. And what else? Oh, I found some books. I'm going to show you this. I wanted to show you this, but I don't know if I'll be able to hold it up, but I'm going to try. <laughs> It's a beautiful jewelry box. Someone wrote Alice on it. Uh, you can tell someone had it custom done for someone else, you know, with the beautiful letters that they put there. But it is clear on the top. It is really heavy. I think it's Pottery Barn. And at the price that they had it, which is $6, $6, I could not leave it. So it's a little jewelry box. It has two huge compartments at the top. I don't even want to take off the name, honestly. I want to list it like that or offer it. Huge drawers. Three compartments. All velvet lined. This looks like it was never used. This one has a lot of separate compartments. Or I may offer it at my auction. If you're interested in anything you see in the hall today, you can contact me. I don't sell directly with live auctions here or anything like that. I like to keep it more for entertainment value. 
but everyone usually contacts me if they're ever interested. Plus, I do auctions on Facebook. You'll find that information in the description box below. Okay. So that's how I do it. I do auctions on, on Facebook. Of course, I still do eBay and Posh and Macari. I've been on those venues forever. I was on Posh when they opened the doors. I was on Macari when they opened the doors. This is like a little cover. It is some kind of a stone. I think it's like a, I want to say it's a composite stone, honestly, but it is genuine leather and pony hair. And you basically use it as a journal cover. I don't know if you guys are familiar with all of the, um, what is that? The Homaguchi or whatever. There's, there's a lot of planner communities and they make their own journals. And these are usually used for covers. Thank you. Oh, my husband purchased this for me. My husband bought me this. I don't remember when. It's been a while. Um, but it was a gift. And I was very kind of hesitant about it when I first put it on. I thought it was so big. And then I fell in love with it. And then I wanted it in gold, too. <laughs> I can't afford the gold. It is out of this world. If you ever even see one on eBay in, in 14 karat gold, uh, take a seat because you will faint at the price. But thank you so much. I do love this. I was watching another lady that does thrift hauls and she was wearing it long. It looks so beautiful. And she wears a lot of James Avery too. She's a native Houstonian, but uh, yeah. So I was like, Oh, where's my, I've never seen anybody else wear it. It looks so pretty on some, you know, when you see it from a distance, I got another little crazy bag, Harry Potter. I always look for that brand as well. Hola, Graciela. They're so expensive, even the store. Yes, they are. They are. They're hard to find. They put them out for a little while. That really is the thing I, I kind of get. Oh, I kind of, um, pause, you kind of pause when people say it's retired, it's retired, it's retired for other brands. Because honestly, you really can't compare an artisan such as James Avery when they put something that they've done for a while. They put out a couple of them because they're so expensive even back then. And so they sell a few and then they retire that design completely. So it's not like they just stop selling it uh, and call it retired. They truly are retired. And the, the value goes up exponentially, of course, depending on the rarity, the design, et cetera. More so than the intrinsic value. You're not paying for the weight or anything like that. You really are paying for the design and you're not paying for the ego as you do for Tiffany, which I don't know, shouldn't even say that about Tiffany because Tiffany has amazing designers for many, many years. So, but um, that's really what you're paying for with James Avery. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, hi, Adrian. How are you? I hope you're well. How's the weather in Florida? I think I just want to show you some clothes. I got some clothes too. Not much. I found some really good clothes. I'm going to be doing some other recorded videos. I just wanted to make sure I put some of this stuff away because it was really accumulating, but I did get a few things and I'll be doing a lot of shorts. I'll be doing a lot of thrift with me, but they're usually recorded. This is just by Cat and Jack. It's just a, um, a, um, target brand, but I like this for my granddaughter. It was in excellent condition. Uh, they are definitely fond of thrifting as well. So I no longer feel apprehensive. I know a lot of people are apprehensive about receiving things that are thrifted. But like I said in the beginning in my rant, we're in a whole new world right now where fast fashion is such a cardinal sin, honestly, to just go and buy a piece of mediocre clothing and then get rid of it very quickly with children, of course. And then just because, you know, the next magazine tells you it's out of style. And um, like right now, everybody's saying skinny jeans. Don't wear skinny jeans. They're done. I'm wearing skinny black jeans with a little gold lyrics off like almost like a band leader <laughs> jeans. I wrote, wore them with my brogues, my blazer from Lafayette and I wear what I want. I feel comfortable in it. And it, to me, it's a classic style that I'll keep wearing. This is um, free people. I thrifted this for $4 and it's weird because it's a size medium. And I thought maybe it's a little bit larger than that, but free people has a really wonderful aesthetic in their trap, I think they call them trapeze dresses. So I'll wear it as a tunic with some leggings or some skinny jeans because I'm still wearing my skinny jeans. I don't care what 
everyone says, and it's sheer salt polyware camisole, or even right now that it's called a turtleneck over, under it. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful material too. It's kind of a chiffon. And yeah, I paid actually $4 for it. These prices are incredible. This is another thrift store I've been going to. I don't know if you have them. They are chain. It's Desiree. I was calling it desert, but it, I didn't know how to pronounce it. But then I saw somebody do a haul. Isn't that cute? So I got that one. And then I love me some plaid and tartan, especially the black watch. This is a, um, a loft. And this one was six. I love the classic design of this one more than anything. I love this elaborate sleeve. I think that's so pretty. Look at that hook button. Hook and eye button. I just think it's, and it's not a hook and eye, but it's just a little loop. I'm not sure what they term that. So cute. A little bit of buttons here. That's for me. I found uh, some juicy that I've got to launder that I'm going to list the juicy um, pants, like a tracksuit and jacket. Found that too there. And then this is another one I really like. This to Banana Republic. Simple. I always like the quarter sleeves. At my age, these are really your best friend. <laughs> so I do always look for the quarter sleeve. Um, let me see. I'm looking all around. See if there's anything else I may have forgotten. I just bought a little, bunch of little household items. You know, why go pay five, six dollars for these when I can get them for 99 cents? I can't wait for spring. Uh, um, what else? I think that's enough for now. Have we been on long enough? Let me know in the chat. If you enjoyed the video, let me know with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please come back again really soon for another video. I owe you a heart to heart. I'm going to do one, I promise. Very, very soon. I was thinking I was going to do it today. But for some reason, I got really exhausted. I went on a dinner date with my with my middle daughter, my husband and I and her boyfriend so we had a wonderful dinner and then i came home and collapsed into that proverbial after meal coma you know how it is all right so thank you so much for joining me come back again really soon for another video of course there's always jewelry in the horizon that's what we're always looking for i really enjoyed having you in my home come back again bye-bye